Dr. Hans Kierstedt, president of Neostem Oncology, thank you for being here. My pleasure. What is a stem cell and how does that translate to cancer research? Indisputably, the greatest discovery in cancer was the identification that cancer is caused by a stem cell. It's called the cancer stem cell or tumor initiating cell. So this cell divides and one makes two, four, eight, sixteen, etc. And it then differentiates to make a tumor bulk and that's cancer. The unique thing in, with a cancer stem cell is it can then leave that bulk tumor to generate a new tumor. What do you do with a stem cell to try to either prevent or treat the cancer? Neostem is the first group in the world to have isolated the tumor initiating cell from bulk tumors. So during the normal course of care for a cancer patient, if they've unfortunately progressed to stage four, the last stage before death, they have surgical resection of their tumors. We take a very small bit of that tumor, and for the first time in the world, we are able to extract in purity the cancer initiating cells. Once we have that, we can then teach the patient's own immune system how to kill them. So we've been able to extract the correct target from the patient. That's extremely important because your cancer is different from mine, it's, it's different from every other person in the world. The name of our treatment is the INTIS study. It's Latin for from within. Teaching your own immune system what to attack is the real key. The uniqueness here is that we have taught it to attack the cancer stem cell, the engine of cancer. Stem cell therapy is used for what kinds of cancers? Our stem cell therapy is used only for melanoma currently. We are in phase three, the final stage of clinical testing before commercialization. When is this going to be FDA approved? How soon do you expect it to hit the market and for other doctors and researchers to start using your technique? We have to enroll hundreds of patients in the phase three clinical trial and we've just begun. So we are opening up centers all through the United States. We're targeting 30 to 50 of them. And they will provide us with patient tissues from which we'll pull out the cancer stem cells. They're providing us with the patient blood from which we'll pull out that frontline warrior of the immune system. When we combine them, we send back to those hospitals uh, a therapy for cancer. Stem cells for us are the engine. They're, the, they're our target that we're teaching the immune systems to go kill. It's now recognized that every patient has an immunodeficiency of some sort. An immunodeficiency that stops them from killing the engine of cancer, hence it propagates. And that engine is the cancer stem cell. How many patients have you treated in these clinical trials and what have you found? If you get cancer, historically you have about a 15% chance of uh, surviving, five years under 10. With our treatment, our two-year survival is 72%. Five-year survival, 50%. We're in a laboratory where we've been developing our cancer treatments for over six years. What we've done here is take patients' tumors, that, patients that knew they weren't going to get treated, but we developed it. They really set the ground for the therapies that we're now able to apply to patients by the hundreds. Hans Kierstedt, neuroscientist and stem cell expert, thank you for being here. Oh, it's my pleasure and thank you for uh, the message that you're portraying here.